Hey everybody, it's Cole Powell from Core Performance here to talk to you about Ice Blade XO SLK. Today we're gonna to be going over what's in the box, how Ice Blade XO SLK works, setting up your SLK, and care and maintenance. Ice Blade XO SLK comes in three separate packages. We have our vest only, our heating and cooling only, and heating, cooling, and hydration. So let's go over what's in the box for each of those packages. First, we have our vest only. So the vest only package is gonna come with your two SLK plate bags, the SLK shoulder shrouds, a pair of sizzle sticks with 40 inches of shock cord, two side straps that are also found on our Ice Plate XO and our Ice Plate XO CRH, two swift clips, and then two female side release split bar buckles. All right, let's go over what's in the box for the heating and cooling only package. We've got our two SLK plate bags right here, the SLK shoulder shrouds, a left exit and a right exit ice plate curve with closed caps. This is different from the freezer cap and the ice cap. There's no magnet in it. You can't put it on your fridge. It's just for heating and cooling. We've got our pair of sizzle sticks with 48 inches of shot cord, side straps. We have two swift clips, two female side release split bar buckles. So now let's go over our heating, cooling, and hydration package. First, we're going to have our two Ice Blade XO SLK plate bags with SLK shrouds. These are made out of fully woven elastic. We've got a left exit ice plate curve, a right exit ice plate curve, ice caps on both of those with safety shims installed. We've got our two magnetic freezer caps over here. We've got our Source 90 drink tube, a set of sizzle sticks with 48 inches of shock cord, two swift clips. You have two single split bar side release buckles. We have our two side straps. These are the same side straps that you can find on Ice Plate XO and on Ice Plate XO CRH. Now let's start by talking about how Ice Plate XO SLK works. First thing I want to mention is Ice Plate XO SLK is not a plate carrier. It's not meant to hold armor. It's meant to hold two Ice Plate curves for non-tactical and non-LE activities. Ice Plate XO SLK keeps the same strength and durability and antimicrobial and hydrophobic characteristics of Ice Plate XO thanks to our proprietary Ice Plate XO laminate but without all the internal loop and negative maps of XO. Ice Blade XO SLK is meant to be used with two ice plate curves. That's three liters of drinking water, 140 watts of cooling, and 104 watts of heating, making it the perfect companion for anyone from outdoor wedding photographers, oil rig workers, or trail riders. Anything that's gonna be high wear, high strength, where you're gonna need it most, SLK is there. So we're only gonna be setting up our heating, cooling, and hydration package, so let's get right to that. Let's go ahead and start setting up your Ice Plate XO SLK. We're gonna start with the two plate bags. Now, just a note, there is a front and a rear plate bag. Good way to figure that out is when you're adjusting for fit, pull those away from the shoulders, and whichever plate is on top, so like you're looking at them like this, the stack on top is gonna to be your rear plate bag. You always want to try to pull your shroud towards the front plate bag to protect that shroud from the hook on the rear. Pull that back. It's already set for my height. If you're a smaller person, you're going to want to lap those joints over more, but we're going to leave it the way it is for right now. Pull that back. So now we know our, our rear plate bag. We're going to start setting up our side straps. You're going to take your two sizzle sticks, we're gonna do it just like we do on Ice Plate XO and Ice Plate XO CRH. So what I like to do is I like take that shot cord and cut two one foot pieces, tie an overhand knot in one end, and then start lacing it through. These are side specific when you put them together because you're gonna want the tail of the side strap to be in towards your body. So we're gonna lace up our first one right now. Pass that through, and then we're gonna set everything up as normal, just weaving the shot cord through the sizzle stick. And then we're gonna terminate that end with another overhand knot. All right, that one's done. Let's go ahead and do our right side as well. Pass through, make sure that tab is towards the body. There's the right one. Now we're gonna open up the plate bag and we're gonna insert our two sets of side straps. Pop that one in that bottom lateral aperture. And do the same thing on the left side. And we'll go ahead and put it like that. Now let's go ahead and route our hose. 
So we've got a left exit ice plate running the back. So we're gonna route our hose on the left side of the XLK. So what I like to do is I like to get everything squared away here, take off my bite valve and pass my end of the hose through like that and then just pop my bite valve right back in. Makes it easy to feed through. Bring that a little further in. And then to route the hose, we're actually gonna take our newly installed sizzle stick and pass the hose through that middle loop. So everything's all nice. That's good. Now let's move on to the front plate bag. We're gonna spin everything around so I can work on this side and we're gonna go ahead and install our swift clips. So just a note on installing any swift clip, any ladder, any split bar hardware of any kind, always go with the long side first. It makes it way easier to install. Just a little quick tip. So we're gonna put that long end in first. We're kind of twisted it. Like so. That one's done, and then we're gonna do the left side. I like to use one, end, one hand inside the plate bag to kind of maneuver the material around. All right, that one's done. And now let's go ahead and put in our female split bar side release buckles. Now, these are gonna be what's holding your tire carrier together. So we are gonna put these on the second rung of the lateral apertures on the side of SLK. So again, long end first, we're gonna pull that down, pop it in like so. Same with the other side. Like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our ice plates in. Normally these would be full of water, frozen or hot, whichever one you want. We're gonna put our right exit in the front. And then our left exit in the rear. Plug in our drink tube. We're all squared away. Now I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna adjust it for fit. I'm gonna take my two side release buckles and click them in. Now if I wanna make it tighter, just pull on the tails of the side straps and you can cinch it all up. But that's how you set up your Ice Blade XO SLK. Let's talk care and maintenance. Care of your Ice Blade XO SLK is super simple. All you really have to do is hose it off, let it dry out in the sun, and if there's anything dried on it, just take a damp cloth with a little bit of dish soap, scrub it out real quick, and you should be good to go. That's it for care and maintenance. If you like what you saw here today, please leave a like, drop a comment in the comment section below, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps us out a lot. If you have any questions, any questions at all, feel free to email us at info at coreperformance.com. You can call us, here's our phone number. We'll actually pick up and we'll get you handled. You can live chat us on our website, or you can ask us questions in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching, and as always, stay frosty.